I want to show you a demonstration of how a Calutron works. Calutron just stands for California University Cyclotron. And it was invented by Ernest Lawrence, was used at the Y-12 National Security Complex, what's called today. Back in the Manhattan Project area, it was the Y-12 Electromagnetic Separation Plant. And I want to show you how that simple physics process works. A mass spectrometer that separates isotopes according to their mass. And imagine with me if I held up my hand and I had two rubber bands hanging down from it. I put a golf ball on one and a ping pong ball on the other. And then I spun it real quick for a half a turn. That golf ball would stretch that rubber band further than the ping pong ball. So I get two arcs. Now the same thing happens with uranium-235 and 238. There's three neutrons difference in the mass of 235 and 238. That means if you put those in between two large magnets, those two isotopes in between two large magnets, the magnet field, that magnetic field, will cause those isotopes to bend. Centrifugal force will make the 238 make a slightly larger arc than the 235. So you can catch the 235 up at the top. Now, you have to remember in a thousand pounds of uranium ore, there's only seven pounds of uranium 235. So you've got to separate a lot of material just to get that little bit of uranium 235 that you need for a nuclear weapon or an atomic bomb. <clears throat> so let me show you a little demonstration that'll show you uh, an animation that'll show you what I just described, how uranium-235 is separated from uranium-238. So imagine between the two magnets standing on either side of this vacuum chamber, and it's causing those uranium isotopes to bend. The blue ones are the uranium-238, and the red ones represent the uranium-235. So there were 1,152 of these calutrons and 22,482 workers located at the electromagnetic separation plant in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, that produced the uranium-235 for Little Boy the world's first atomic bomb ever used in warfare. A very simple physics process that had no moving parts, but that's how the calutrons work.